about the future, people often remark that things will have to get a lot worse before they get better. But we never really talk about what that means or, or why. The short answer is that some of you are being paid for your silence, paid to stay in line, paid to keep your head down and your mouth shut, paid to circle the drain a little bit longer, clinging to the life preservers of others, and you're so satisfied with these payments, your 30 pieces of silver, you won't bite that hand that's feeding you until your lungs are already full of the mud and muck, the rising quicksand that's just below your chin. And then, of course, when you finally find your voice, it won't be a battle cry. It'll be a desperate plea for help. You'll frantically search for not brothers to fight side by side with you, but another hand to feed you. That is why it must get worse. It must get worse because everyone has their price, and while most people love to spew patriotic platitudes, they don't really value freedom. It's far too expensive. They can't afford integrity. They can't even afford a future for their children. The truly disgusting thing about these people is they're often the same people who will point to those who stand on the welfare lines and imagine how they're so much better than them. They sneer and pontificate, they'll say to each other in superior tones, look at them, they're not working for the masters. That is why I have far better trinkets. Yes, they take their alpha slave trophies very seriously. And so I have only one question. Which of these trinkets that keep you pacified would you have to lose before you finally decided to be a free man? Everyone has their price. What's your price? Which of these shiny objects would you have to lose before you finally decided to live up to the call of your ancestors, or if not yours, mine, ancestors whose country has been so ravaged by the neglect of their children and the strangers that have been allowed within the gates, that to them it would be unrecognizable. What is your price? What is the novelty that keeps you so pacified? Pacified enough that, oh sure, you're, you're angry about the corruption and the, the flourishing evil, but not angry enough to act. Please tell me, what is this entertainment that's so amusing that you're aware of the danger, but you're far too distracted to protect your family from it? What is so goddamn titillating that you have chosen not to act? I honestly want to know, I need to know, which of these gold stars, these certificates of servitude and souvenirs of subjugation would have to be smashed before you stand up to the ruling class. Please, for the love of God, I'm begging you, tell me what is your price? Because the rest of us, going to have to pay it. For Black Pilled, I'm Devin Stack. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you share. If you'd like to help me out, you can grab a copy of my book, Day of the Rope. Link is in the description. Or you can send crypto to the addresses below or become a patron at patreon.com forward slash blackpilled.